feel it has a chance to escape and they just go over the person. Uh, that's what I'm seeing more and more. This bear was different. It was wounded. It was going to protect itself. And that's why we say never go up to a wounded animal. Or if you know you got a wounded animal, give us a, a wounded black bear, give us a call. So we'll, we'll do it. Uh, uh, we've done it a lot. So, but uh, this, was, this was different. You have a wounded bear. Uh, obviously, it was severely wounded. And it was going to protect itself. So it, it didn't matter unless you had quite a bit of distance to put a bullet in it. It was going to come after somebody. So, but the the other attacks we've seen is people around blackberry bushes, uh, where they come face to face with a bear, and we've had uh, people jogging, where their dog will go after the bear and the dog goes back after the person. So. Wow, what the, what's next in this particular case? Uh, what we're going to do is get that head up to the Kitsap County uh, uh, Health Department so they can ship it off for rabies testing. I'll make sure we have all the photograph statements that we need and uh, just kind of make sure these guys are doing okay. Um, they're going to be sore, like I said yesterday, for a couple of days, but just make, their, make sure they're okay and then just lower the hysteria. Um, make sure people know around here that, yes, we did find the bear is dead. There's no wounded bear around. But be aware there's other bears. When this bear left, I'm sure there was another bear ready to go. It wasn't a full-size adult, uh, but uh, it's still big enough to protect the bear. Anything else?